Mathematical practice number seven. Looking for and making use of structure. Math is built structure and patterns. One of the most essential skills in math that they begin learning at a very young age, as young as two and three, is looking for those patterns for structure in anything mathematical. Uh, many teachers have had concerns that in the kindergarten standards it no longer addresses patterns and teaching students patterns. That is because it is now addressed in the mathematical practices. Students need to be able to look for pastures, and this should be taught not only in kindergarten, but all the way through high school. How do you solve problems using patterns and the structure of mathematics? Students should be able to step back for an interview and shift perspectives as necessary in order to be able to solve problems. These images are of the city, but they have a very different perspective, and you wouldn't necessarily know it was the same city unless you had stepped back and looked at the entire picture. So it's important for students to be able to have a different perspective, be able to look at problems from all different angles, and to be able to get an overview of the entire problem. Students need to be able to see things as a whole or as parts that create a whole. In this diagram, we've taken all the parts and pulled them apart, and students need to be able to see that those parts can come back together to make a whole. They also need to be able to use familiar and known structures to see something in a different way, using what they know to be able to analyze problems and to learn something new. These are all mathematical practice number seven, which is looking for and making use of structure.